All right, David, you weigh in. You look at the what commentary is on the call from earnings season. Are we in a transitory, inflationary environment, and how do you invest for that? Alex, the market does not wait for the problem to resolve itself before focusing on the future. And the reason I make that point very clearly is that the equity market is at near all-time highs and the earnings season has been excellent. So the GDP numbers came in this morning quite weak. Lots of focus on commentators like yourselves and others about the supply chain issues. But really what investors are focusing on is the fact that revenues, sales in the quarter were 2% above expectations and earnings were 8% above expectations, indicating that margins actually got better, they expanded more than was uh, was anticipated coming into the earnings season. And we saw that consistently, Alice, across so many of the conference calls. We're now 50% of the way through the earnings season uh, for the S&P 500, 50%. Uh, you've had, generally speaking, a very positive set of results, and the commentary has been all to the positive about how they have been passing through uh, their, their input costs through to the consumer in terms of raising prices or using no. technology very efficiently to try to maintain their uh, their operating leverage. Of course, not every company has done this. So, there are some that have had challenges. But broadly speaking, I think, Alex, that's the takeaway from earnings season. So, uh, David, overall, does it mean you could raise your price target for the S&P 500? Uh, I think, Francine, the way to think about that is yes, and a way to think why would that be the case is because in our forecast for 2022, we are assuming that tax hikes were going to take place at the corporate level. So U.S. federal statutory rate, the tax rate would go higher. It is a fluid game in Washington, D.C. Every day there's a different proposal that's floated or may get negotiated. And it seems right now that there, the outcome may be less onerous. There may be less of an increase in corporate tax rates than we have been assuming. And so therefore, if that was to in fact transpire and come to pass, then we would end up having slightly higher earnings estimates than we are currently looking. Right now, we're expecting around 2% earnings growth from yeah. this year into next year. And uh, if you didn't have any tax reform at all, you'd have around 7%. So call that bid ask between 2% growth mm -hmm. and 7% growth. And uh, you're probably going to be higher than a 2% level. David? We'll have to see what the final legislation is.